um I made like a little comment. This is like a little note uh, regarding the Nike Dunk. I'm sure some of you guys have, are aware of what's happening with the Dunk, right? There's been a huge Dunk resurgence in the last few couple of years, I'd say. You know, you had um, Virgil obviously wearing them quite often. You had Travis wearing them quite often. You had a few other notable people. Then obviously the off-white collection, collections come out. You've got Travis debuting his new SBs. There's a few new other SBs coming that have got re-released. The Ray Guns. They're going to they re-release the Plums. Uh, but mostly just dunks. We get the SB, but it looks like it's a, it's a big year for the dunk, and it happens quite often. I remember what I used to work for 1948 or for Nike back in the day. There was a big sub. I think that was like the 30th anniversary of the dunk, might be or 35th. I forgot. That was when the whole "Be True to Your School" dunk campaign came out, and that did that did didn't do too well. It kind of felt like a lead balloon for the most part. Um, the dunk is a weird shoe. I get the feeling that it. It's probably it probably should be a lot cooler or a lot tr more trendy than what it actually is, but it didn't really do the damage it probably needed to. And it would be interesting. I'm just thinking about it, hypothesizing if all of this effort that Nike are making to try and engineer a resurgence. Because to be honest, it's not organic. No real, ki no kids that follow Virgil or follow Travis or you know creep on Playboy Carti really or ASAP Rocky really give a shit about wearing dunks not really it's not really an organic thing most of those kids are still wearing Jordan 1s Yeezys and whatever expensive designer shoe they can get a hold of you don't really see people organically wearing Nike dunks so it feels up to me um, Nike are kind of finagling and trying to engineer a resurgence or a revival of something that doesn't really exist for the most part so it would be quite funny if they spent all this money put out all this outreach did all these activations and it just all of it ended up on the sales rack. I could see it eventually happening because some of these shoes, especially the Raygun SBs, like who wanted those to come back again? Such a weird model to like kind of take out, to kind of rebirth or to kind of give another opportunity. Like Nike, especially Nike SB, wasted so many opportunities to kind of really give, uh, resuscitate, um, you know, the Nike Dunk range when they keep going back to someone like Jeff Staple and he keeps rehashing tired, boring, uninspired pigeon interpretation of a dunk again and again and again. You just lose any caveat, any kind of sense of core. Cool. And all these little cool micro brands and little streetwear brands that these young kids have got, they're the ones that should be kind of spearheading the dunk resurgence or dunk revival. Because old fogies like myself, I'm not going to give a shit about these new Dunk Revivals because I was there when it happened, right? I bought most of the SBs. I was back, I was around when you used to go to Nike, used to go, I used to go to Slam City Skates and get vibed out for buying Nike Dunks, right? Now, Slam City Skates are essentially jacking off sneakerheads when they come into the store. But I remember back in the day, what's his name? Is it Jake or whatever? Is it Jake? I forgot. There was that really short guy um, who's always really angry. He always had like a kind of resting angry face anyway. He kind of warmed up later on, but he was always really snarky and just a bit, you know, a bit short with me um which is understandable right i, I would rock up to slam city skates wearing my hundreds t-shirts and hundreds jeans and you know a new york thing air force ones and stuff i'm sure he kind of looked at me and thought what absolute weapon but it's interesting to see how things are changing now you know skaters don't keep the lights on essentially sneakerheads do um unfortunately for some of these nike for some of these uh, uh skater owned stores but it's interesting to see that they're instead of going to the people who are actually trying to Instead of actually going to people who would be the consumers for this, they're trying to somehow tap into nostalgia and get someone like me to give a shit about dunks, which is preposterous. Maybe the Viotex I liked and I liked the look of and I would probably get, uh, but I would probably buy on resale from StockX or something, but there's no way in hell that I'm kind of busting the gut to go buy a pair of dunky, or dunks to wear again. Like i done it. It happened. We move on in it. It's not a thing. I'm not trying to revive my old um, glory years of sneakerdom. And this is another good example of it, isn't it? Like the plum dunk lows. Again, it's not the hype colorway where the kids want. They want the dunks that are going to make them thousands of pounds or the, the ones that they see in Pharrell wearing and shit or whatever. It's not going to work, man. I just don't think it's going to work. So I think it's a big, big waste of time. Apart from, again, the off-white dunks were an interesting experiment. I've seen a lot of street star pictures of people wearing them in Paris and they've abs they, they, they make them look shit because, you know, it's fashionistas wearing trainers. It's never a good combination. But... That worked because, again, he was, you know, Virgil is from the school of sneakerheads, right? He is from the in the University of Nike talk. So he understood the re the relevance of kind of re-earthing or bringing back those three colorways and kind of t giving it his Virgil twist with those sort of like climbing rope things across the top. So essentially just a classic dunk with those kind of additional, those rope things, which, you know, makes it look more interesting. But 
<coughs> as a model, I don't think there's a lot of people out there really crying for the plums to come back. Maybe if you're a kid in Tokyo now, you might be happy with it because you can wear these with your oversized 501s. Put your hands in your pocket and do a pose that you're standing in the magazine, like Boone or whatever. But I'm not too sure if like European kids, North American kids who are wearing Yeezys and, you know, Jordan 1s are going to give a shit about wearing a pair of these. I just can't see it. And it, to me, it just feels like they're they're making... They're trying to re they're trying to they're trying to make a trend as opposed to allowing it to kind of breathe and happen, you know, organically. You don't make trends. I don't think so anyway. Maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't feel like you can engineer a trend for it to happen just because you want it to happen. Um, but yeah, here is the Plum Dunks, uh, 2001 Dunk Plum is returning in February. Here's the text: 2020 shaping up to be a true a fruitful year for Nike's time on a dunk. Uh, one of the classic colorways. That's uh, getting the ball rolling as a plum and makeup that originally debuted in 2001 as part of the Nike Japan exclusive Ugly Duckling pack alongside the veneer and the ceramic styles. The plum is an appealing look back at the bygone era and in the no regional exclusives, uh, combining a two tone. Blah, 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 blah. This, comp this compelling crash of colors was so beloved by collectors that, that Nike SB even re released it as a fat tongue uh, SB high in a near identical color scheme back in 2011. However, the revamped iteration is the first ever re-release of the OG Dunk Low, which is cool, isn't it? I guess it reminds you of the old silver boxes or no, yellow box dunks, actually, before they were even in, involved in SBs, before they had a, the matted tongue, before they had the crazy insoles, before they had the padded collars, uh, before they had the, the tongue that was strapped down, like all those kind of things remind me of it. So February the 7th, they're going to re come back out again. They've got these sort of like old school vintage um magazine editorial graphic designs which again looks terrible they didn't really they didn't redo the laces if you've seen any japanese sneaker magazine you'll know that all the sneakers are always laced immaculately i'm actually going to pull a magazine out here because sometimes i think these guys man so the lack of attention to detail sometimes and the things that matter is just frightening isn't it? so here's a copy of this magazine called asayan i'm going to get this back on full screen here this magazine called Asayan, it's like a legendary Japanese magazine and I'm pretty sure every shoe in here, especially the Nike shoes, all the all the laces are laced up properly. There's no fucking crazy shitty laces that these guys are put on their shoes, right? This is a random magazine I pulled out from my archive of magazines, right? And I'm pretty sure every product shot of a trainer will have the trainer laced up the correct way. Not the way that they have it laced up there where, you know, the way you see it when it comes out of the box, it's all strangled and it's all over, over instead of under, uh, over, under. It's like under, over, you right? know, it's not like even this model here wearing on the left. Look at his model. Look, he's, look, look at that. Look at that model there. Can you see him here? And look at his laces. Look, look, see? Properly laced up, right? Let's go to the next one. Try, I'm just going to try and find some product shots. See? All these product shots. Look at this. What, what shoes is this? North Wave. Look at these Jap old school shoes right and let's zoom in on the yellow one at the top there you see that one look at that look at the laces right look at those laces and now look at the laces on these fucking dunks right look at that horrendous right absolutely horrendous look at look, look at the laces if you're gonna re if you're gonna redo these dunks and bring them back again and try and get nostalgic points like at least go all the way if you're gonna with this creative direction like come on man bring the bring the pain they must have an archive full of this stuff they must have people working at nike who know what's up and are, were a part of culture back in the day they need to make more of an effort man it's so lazy another one right i'm gonna get the screen back to normal again look another one again there can you see that look 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 at, the, look at all the shoes look how look how well look how well laced everything is move the oh move my hand out of the way there but look how well laced everything is everything is laced properly no shitty lacing everything is laced how it should be laced can you see that probably not but anyway just i don't know man just it's frightening the people that have these kind of jobs and don't know how to lace shoes there's a whole heap of nikes there as well can you see them like there right look all of those are, are properly laced up it's just like ugh. all of these are proper oh look at these look at that just just re-release all of that look at that look at look, look at those trainers there look what you got there Zoom in on that one. Oh, let's move in a bit. See that? Look at that. Look at the selection. Look at the selection. Look at those. Nice, isn't it? Nice, 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 nice. But yeah, what do I know? Um, like I said, it would be interesting if they make all this effort to bring back the Nike and you just see them all 
on the sale rack at flipping office size and TK Maxx and stuff. It would be so funny. But again, it's Nike, innit? They've got so much money. It probably doesn't even matter if it does flop. And what is a flop to Nike anyway, really? If it doesn't sell out, maybe the perceived flop online from like, you know, people that like to resell shoes, maybe. Oh, it didn't sell out. The shoes flopped. But for the most part, they could probably write off all that shit. doesn't matter. So anyway, um, let's move on, man. Nike Dunks are coming back. They're back in. They're going to be back in February. That plum one on the 7th, I think it says here, right? Yeah, on the 7th. They're going to be priced at £110. <laughs> oh, Nike had jokes. Imagine paying £110 for Dunks to 2020, mate. That is a madness. But anyway, do your thing if that's you.